Greetings everyone, my name is SRG21 and I'm Schizophrenic Rabbit bringing you another Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> and today we have just come out of the pods. Well, the pod thingy majiggies, I don't know what you would call them. It's like a hotel, but it's not a hotel. It's, it's really weird and like weird Japanese. Oh, look, bullets, machine pistol. Don't want that. Got myself a revolver, and actually, I'm going to. Oh, I need to change it. Fine, no EMP. Nah. I'm trying not to blow myself up again. That would be very bad. Now, at the moment, we're going to go to, going to go to some guy's apartment. Do you know where the limb clinic well, actually, the limb clinic yeah, first. Yeah. Limb clinic. Trouble, Eliza. Excuse me, sir. And we're gonna buy some stuff, and we're gonna sell some stuff, and we're gonna make shit rumble. <laughs> um, I can't remember if I've been here yet. This episode. Not too sure. But the guy we're supposed to see is there. But first, we're gonna talk to her. Lim International welcomes you. You are preferred client? Select what you want from computer. Well, um, thanks. I guess. This is what you want. Praxis kits. Oh, I love those Praxis kits. Not gonna get Typhoon now, yeah. But You're very welcome, sir. Very welcome. <laughs> uh, at least the Chinese acting is so much better than it was in the first game. The Chinese acting in the first game was horrible. Um, this is... Yeah, we're gonna... EMP shield prevents your augmented blah blah blah, blah EMP. Now that's kind of good. But no. We're gonna get into some shooting, and I just want to have like a backup plan just to be ready in tip top shape. Is there any books around here? Don't worry, I'm gonna go in surgical ward. I'm gonna go in that room. Anything? Don't mind me, I'm supposed to be back here. I'm a professional. Ooh. Any drugs? Any drugs? Ooh, blood pack. Be like a vampire. Did you see that um, new headlight advert or something from Vauxhall? Like, at the Super Bowl? That was quite funny. Like, the whole vampire taking the piss out of things. And there's a like, whoa, the fucking dude Shit, player. What the fuck happened to you? Let's talk to this Can't guy. you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Hashtag Chan. I think that's an actual Twitter account made by the developers, I'm not sure. Let's go around here and badom. Another loading scene. Don't forget, limb clinics are open 24 7 to satisfy all your augmentation needs. Booyah! <laughs> I suppose that could be a weird random thing, maybe? Possibly? Who knows? Bounty to wow wow, jump jump wow wow. Right, so he's into this whole weird spy thing of the hives. Is that a hive that way? Oh. It doesn't exist, but it appears that I may have to retract an earlier statement. Millionaire Hugh Darrow has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. My visit mm. to was related exclusively to the project. Interesting news. Interesting news stuff. Over here! Come on now! I'm here. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. <laughs> right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. 
Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here. Take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use. Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Oh, fine, okay. And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. Uh -huh. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Interesting, interesting. Let's go read this report. Um, yes. Oop. blah, blah, blah. You can read this. I know a lot of people probably won't read it, but just in case. Again, I keep saying, if you've got this far in, you might be reading it. Who knows? But this obviously talks about how her death was um, suspicious. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Oh, I've been sent on a goose chase. Okay, it's around here. I think. Recording to that, it's over there by a hundred and something odd meters. Millionaire Hugh Darrell has Damn it, woman, interrupt me. I think we can go... Can we go around this way? Um... Probably not, I'm probably gonna get lost again. Everyone's gonna be like, huh, he got lost, and I'm like, damn you! Damn you, look. Damn you all to hell. Money. Yeah. Why is there combat rifle ammo there? Uh, that would be uh, missing this person. Hmm. Let's quickly hack this, see what's in here. Access granted. It's kind of funny that. that that's actually predicting the truth that China is moving in on a lot of American assets. I think it's quite funny actually. America's in a ton of debt, so as UK, but we're not in as much debt as the um, United States of America. Access granted. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> oh, I love her that one. Let you guys read this. It'd be surprising or well, surprised. Surprising is not a word. It's not a word. Oh. Hello. Who are you? Get the fuck out. Oh, sorry. Don't mind me, love. 
I know to be like different body types, that'd be cool. Oh my god, you okay, sir? You dead? No, you're sleeping. Okay. What? Sleeping, sleeping? So I can't go around this way, so we must go around the top side way and go all the way around. Do something, can do backflips maybe. I'm gonna have to go through another loading screen, aren't I? I knew it. I knew it. It's gonna be so bad and so terrible and horrible. I don't know. You look like you're a hero. Yes, I'm here on business. I'm gonna be careful not to get mugged by anyone. If I am, I'm augmented. And I got my revolver and I called it Betsy. Hopefully I can get the intro sorted out on this. Oh, by the way, I went through all of these. Um, in the playthrough, there is nothing interesting there. I mean, if you need a bit of extra cash, you can go in there. There's like a rifle and stuff. And there's like a revolver with one bullet in it. And it's just like, there's no point hacking it because those security guards will probably see me and they'll be like, oh, why are you doing this? And I'm like, oh, God, shit. Why am I up here again? Ah, yes, it's going to go over there. the effort a man has to go well do I should say go do and I've gone the wrong way haven't I yes yeah, nope I thought I did I thought I went the wrong way but no it didn't it's almost close because hello um nope where are we? it was up here and we go some somewhere yeah we, we go around here Take that. Ha! I'm gonna sell that later. Let's, um, yes, let's go around this way. It's down. It's down and around. I, um, I'm lost again. Nope. No, I'm not lost again. Here we are. See, there's 10 minutes of me running around being lost. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Silly me, silly me, silly me. Oh well. Shit happens. Electronic devices with security grade level 1 will not be hackable until you upgrade your hacking. Um, city hubs feature hidden side quests that will be triggered by... Oh. Hidden side quests? Hmm. Hidden side quests. May have to try that one out. Okay, let's climb up here. I haven't heard of any hidden side quests apart from these ones I'm doing. But apparently there are side quests. Um, I think I got a side quest from the DLC at the start, but I don't really know. I'm probably gonna buy the missing mink DLC as well, but is there anyone around here? Is that a pool? No. Okay. Hacky hacky hacky. There, no. it's this way, this way, this way, this way. Access grid. Maybe he's home. Hada. Maybe you're in. The cupboard! Or in the bathroom. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Yeah. Why do I have to look around? Why can't you come look around? Objects, vehicle compensation, um, reduces reticle growth. Yeah. That's good if you have an automatic weapon, but since we're using um, pistols for most of this playthrough, yeah. also it's good um, the shotguns as well. But we're only going to be using that on a need to basis. 
Okay, that's what I'm gonna get next. Be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. <sighs> Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. I swear I probably broken like international laws and gonna get put into a prison with some guy he's gonna get to ghetto on my ass you know the usual stuff that happens access grant there we go blah 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 blah, blah. oh look a wink face blah 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 See, you could really get away with um, spelling errors doing this because it would just be like, oh, there's a normal person talking. My son, your behavior, blah, 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 blah. P.S. Your mother is well, but she's disappointed. I suggest you apologize to her. I send flowers. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. It sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Now let's go to the hive and throw in a loading screen. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's not loading. Yeah, it's not loading screen. Do, 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 Level one. Ah, jeez, I think. No. That'd be cool if you could find stuff and then just open it. Let's go up here. Did it do? Running, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm being so silly. Let's go around here to the hive. Don't mind me, I'm just breaking in. Okay. Go here, transfer. That to here, and that goes. That goes around here. Access granted. Hello. That's what we wanted, ladies and gentlemen. Fine. Big 
salmon. So we only need to get one more reload speed and we've fully upgraded this weapon and also the um, exploding rounds for it, which should be nice. See, this thing we can combine with this, it just makes it better. But we're selling it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh god, is he dead? Why is there a sneaker? Okay, that's just random. That's just randomly weird. The hive is down this way. Good to see you again, sir. Go right in. Stretch up the back. Oh, kind of hunched over talking into the mic. Can have a sore back, but I'm doing it for you guys. Come on, come on. Hey, let's go. Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, piss off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why's that? Because the police report revealed inconclusive blood spatter analysis. Meaning the wound that killed Evelyn happened before she ever fell down those stairs. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law, no matter how serious. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just 
wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. <laughs> Malik, Made please tell best. me you've got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. The street justice is quite funny with what she does. I uh, wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for hacking this. Hopefully. This is going to be a tricky one. Did you? Did you? Access grant. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Ooh, is it a rocket propelled grenade? I like grenades. They go boom. <laughs> Except when I throw them at myself and I blow myself up. That really hurts. That's really mean. I don't like doing that. That's bad. I didn't mean to throw the grenade at myself. It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> uh, funny times, funny times. City Harms feature hidden subjects as well. I think those hidden side quests revolve around, you know. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. I. I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. After everything here. you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try out. pretty hard, Mister. <laughs> See, that's funny. That, that, is, that is really, really is funny. But we're getting on 30 minutes here. Oh, wow, already. So my name is SRG21. I am the Schizophrenic Rabbit. I have hoped you'd enjoy, hope you have enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. And I'll see you next time.